students today uh, we will uh, learn about uh, views module in drupal uh, 9 uh, if you can see that uh, views actually has uh, two things views and views ui the views module create customized lists and queries from uh, your database and view user interface uh, provide a user interface for creating and managing views okay uh, if you want to create a view, you should have a content. Uh, now, firstly, we will create content so that we can create the view. Okay. Uh, for creating the content, you need to go to content section. And in content section, we will add some content. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, we go to add content. And we are going to add some basic pages and uh, we create uh, for example uh, three pages my first page i write the name is uh, my first page and body body of my first page and then we just go to save it and in the same way we will add more content we will, we will go to content and uh, from content uh, we will go to add content and we will add uh, my second page from basic page uh, in the basic page uh, we will add uh, my second page okay uh, here i write my second page and this is the body of my second page and in the same way I will create a third page and after creating these three pages I will create the view okay I go to content and uh, here I go to add content basic page This is body of my third page okay okay now I will go to create the view uh, for creating the view uh, of these three pages uh, I need to go to set structure and then I will go to views you can see I have clicked on set structure and then views uh, in this views when I will click on this views a page will open to create the view okay a uh, view is a list okay uh, we can list the content according to our requirement okay for creating a view we will click on add view uh, in add view if I go to add view here I will write the name of the view for example I write the name that uh, my my page view one I write the name my page view one and now I want to list which thing I want to list the content I want to view uh, uh, content of type uh, basic page because uh, I you, you have seen that the page where we were adding the content article and basic page was showing I added the content of basic page therefore I will select the basic page and then after the selecting the basic page I will uh, go here and I will uh, uh, check the checkbox uh, create a page okay I will click on this create a page and then uh, I will just save and edit here I want to tell you that uh, right now we are going to uh, create the page but if we want to create a block view we can also uh, add it but for now we will just add a page view and save and edit will create the page I have just save and edit and when I do it uh, you will see that the page has been created but how to see the page the page uh, it can be seen from here you can see this view page if I uh, right click it and open in new tab uh, you will see that uh, the page will open uh, my page view is showing here okay and it is showing me uh, a page 
and it has the content of the three uh, uh, things which I have added. My first page, my second page, my third page is shown. Okay, now you see that uh, a title and body both are, both are showing. But if you think that we only want to show the uh, title, okay? If you want to do it, uh, what you will do? You will go, uh, you will come back to the uh, view uh, uh, setting page. This is the view setting page. And from where we can go on that this page, if uh, we forget, we just click on structure. And in the structure, uh, I will go down. And here is the views. You can see views is uh, showing here. I will click on this views. When I will click on this views, uh, then after this, uh, I will go and find that my page, my page view one, it is showing here. And from here, I will click on edit. And uh, on edit page, uh, I will just go and I will change the setting so that uh, my page will show only the title okay for changing the setting uh, i will click on this content and you can see the content is showing here uh, i need to change it to fields i will click on the fields and apply it and after i apply it after i apply it uh, you will see that this is the showing that i need to apply it and it will just show the title you can see content title fields content title is showing okay now I need to save it. When I save it uh, and then I go back to the my page view which is showing on the other tab, then you will see that uh, my page has been changed. I will refresh it and you will see that my page view has been changed to only show the title. Okay. I am just refreshing the page. When the page will refresh, you will see that my page is only showing the title you can see now my page is only showing the title okay okay this is a thing uh, how we can uh, create our uh, page view okay uh, and now uh, if you think that uh, we want to show this page view in a blog we, this is a page view but uh, we don't want this page view we want to show this view in a blog like here for example or here you want or you can you want to say hey in the footer you want to show this uh, in a block in some page because uh, right now these are, are all the pages you can see this is a one page and uh, this also have the same header uh, same footer okay now if you think that you want to show this page view in a block how you will do it uh, for doing it you need to go to again this page and uh, let me again tell you how you will go to this page. You will click on structure and uh, after clicking on the structure, you will go to the views and uh, on the views page, uh, you will go to uh, edit page, edit page view. And this is our page view and you will edit this page and from here, you will go to create the block. Uh, okay, for creating a block, uh, the page uh, will load and now here you can see the ad is showing. You can click on add and block, okay, add block. When you will click on add block, then, uh, then uh, you can just need to write the block name if you want uh, to write. For example, this is the uh, 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 title, you can just change it to my page uh, my block we just write it my block one and apply and after doing it uh, we just uh, 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 save it uh, if we want to save it and uh, we if we want to change it we can also change okay uh, if uh, we want to change something for example you think that uh, unformatted list is not good and we want to change it to some HTML list so that it will be more beautiful we can just uh, uh, click on HTML list and then apply a uh, forum before going to apply you need to change here that this block override so that uh, this thing will only override on our block and it will not uh, override on our page view okay I have clicked on this block override HTML list and I'm going to apply this display. Okay, after going to apply this display, 
I need to click on apply and uh, after applying you will see at the bottom of the page uh, this is the my blog okay this is the my blog title and this is showing here and uh, I just need to save it after saving it uh, I just want that this view should be shown uh, on some section of the website and how we will show this uh, view on our website for showing it for example we want to show in the footer on any page for example we are on this page or on any page uh, we just want that this block view should be shown for example here in the footer uh, for this we I need to go to structure and in the structure structure I will explain you uh, about uh, uh, block layout Block layout is actually the layout structure of the website that how we can explain our uh, structure. For, for uh, ch checking the structure, you need to click on this demonstrate block regions and this will explain the block regions. Okay, Here you can see sidebar, hero, full width, sidebar, primary menu and this is the way footer top and footer bottom. Okay. These are the two things which are coming in this black area. Okay, for showing these two things in the black area, feature uh, footer top and footer bottom, we will just go to structure and then uh, block layout. And in the block layout, we will uh, go down. We will go down, and here you can see uh, footer bottom is showing. And it is having the powered by Drupal. This is the powered by Drupal. This powered by Drupal is this thing powered by Drupal. Okay. And here we just go to place block. And here in the place block, we will write our block. Okay. Uh, this is uh, not showing here. Uh, we need to place our block. And what was our uh, uh, block? I think my. Yes, this is my page view one. I need to select it and then uh, after this, I need to set that uh, uh, that it will show on which pages. For now, I select that uh, this will show on all the pages. Okay. And I will save it, save the blog. And after saving the blog, uh, you will see that uh, this is showing here uh, now uh, you will see that it will show here like it, but for doing it we need to save blog when we will save the blog you will see that it will it is showing here uh, for this we need to refresh the page and you will see that our page is showing our blog is showing here you can see our blog is showing and it is the title which we have written the blog title and it is showing here. If you want that uh, this block should show underneath the powered by Drupal, uh, or you want to remove the powered by Drupal, uh, we just go to the block layout again and go down, and we just uh, uh, select it and we just remove it or disable it. It is up to you. You can disable it, and we will disable it. After disabling it, we will just save it save the block and then uh, our footer will only show our block view okay this is the way uh, how we can work on the uh, views and uh, we can create our page or we can create our block view okay i think you enjoyed a lot uh, about uh, uh, this video uh, if you have any question, uh, you can ask on our YouTube channel also. And you can see we have studied about views and views user interface. Okay. Uh, uh, if you want to see and uh, you, you have more questions, you can just write and find our YouTube channel. Uh, this is our YouTube channel. In our YouTube channel, you can see all the uh, videos about Drupal and you can learn about uh, how you can work in Drupal. Okay. Thank you for your time.